Welcome to Kalkine's Education Series. Thank you for trusting us with the most reliable content. Let's see the topic for today. It's prisoner's dilemma. What is meant by prisoner's dilemma? Prisoner's dilemma is a two-player game theory experiment that deals with the player's decision-making skills based on variable outcomes presented to them. Neither player is aware about the decision taken by the other, which is a crucial aspect of the game as it alters the outcomes for both. Prisoner's dilemma can be better understood with the help of an example. The game starts with two prisoners, prisoner A and prisoner B. Both are suspected of committing a crime to which they have not admitted yet. Each player wants the lowest prison sentence and does not know whether the other prisoner would confess or not. Now, there are four possible outcomes. Number 1. Both A and B confess. Here both would face 5 years of jail time. Number 2. A confesses and B does not confess. Here A would not face any jail time, however B would face 20 years in jail. Number 3. A does not confess and B confesses. Here B would not face any jail time, however A would be sentenced to 20 years in jail. And lastly, neither A nor B confesses. Here, they would both face one year of jail time as they have been caught with weapons. So how do the players find a solution to the game? Nash Equilibrium represents a state where neither player has an incentive to change the decision, considering that the other does not change his decision too. Dominant strategy refers to that strategy which has a greater payoff for the player regardless of what the other player does. For example, if player A confesses, then the prison time faced by him depending on whether B confesses or not are 5 years and 0 years respectively. While if A does not confess, then the sentence faced by him based on whether B confesses or not is 20 years and 1 year respectively. It can be clearly seen that A faces lesser prison time when he confesses as compared to when he lies. Thus, the dominant strategy for A is to confess. Given the strategy by A, B now must make his decision. Now B has two options. If he confesses, then he would have to serve 5 years of jail time. And if he lies, he would have to serve 20 years of jail time. Thus, the better option for him is to confess too. Now, taking the reverse course of action, we would consider the action of A given by B's dominant strategy. The intersection of A and B's dominant strategies would give us the Nash equilibrium. It can be seen that both A and B can reach the Nash equilibrium when they confess. Well, that's all for now. We hope you got a better understanding about prisoner's dilemma. For more such educational tips, please visit our website calkindmedia.com and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till then, stay prize and invest wise with Calkind, your best